Hello everyone, Megas up here, and uh, in this episode, we have uh, part three of our fixing bridges uh, portion of this series. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix another bridge. Let's uh, let's get to it. <laughs> So, um, let's just see. I remember we looked at this last episode. Um, if you haven't seen the last episode, I'll, uh, I'll pop the card up uh, right about uh, here. All right, so uh, we need four metal beams and two concrete slabs. Now, uh, let's see. We have warehouses. So we have one warehouse here. Uh, now they have concrete blocks, but not slabs. They have two more items, but it doesn't say what they are. Uh, let's see. We have this uh, cargo creation area here that uh doesn't make what we want okay so never mind there what about the rail station portion of it so here we have concrete slabs which is good um so for that part we may not need power for this side of the station but it looks like we do if we want to create so uh we we do have one option right here so we can get the two concrete slabs uh, the metal beams, though, uh, they're not here. So, uh, we went through this last time. Now, we do have more of the map uh, lit up because we did uh, do the tower in the last uh, episode. So, uh, let's go ahead and accept this mission. And uh, start tracking it. All right, so the first thing we have to do is the metal beam. So what they're making us do is uh, it's two-parter. So we can't do the slabs till we do the beams, right? So uh, because we did that, if we scroll out, you'll notice that uh, nothing lights up except for uh, this area over here that makes things, this uh, crafting zone that makes metal beams. It also makes the concrete slabs, but... We already found the location that has them in stock, so we don't really need to make them right now. We're gonna just back this up so we can get to the fuel. All right, I'll lock that in place so it can't go anywhere. So we need a fuel carrier. So we can take this one. Um, pretty easily so that's the one we're gonna take so let's take that and it's already full so or at least it should be full gonna go over here to the see if we can uh, well we need to see if the generator even needs any fuel it might have fuel already in it but we'll find out uh, when we get there all the drive after there and we can just leave this fuel generator over there uh, this fuel tank Unless we don't need it, and then I'll, I'll take it back. But uh, we'll, uh, I think my truck actually has to be. I don't know if we're going to have to bring a, another vehicle over uh, to keep that generator running. Uh, first time I've had to, to actually mess with these. So. Let's 
see what all we need to do. I do know that we have to put it in that spot right there, so that much is true. So it may not even need fuel now that I think about it. So let's, um, here, let's just do this. That did not turn out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> All right. Let me just try to back out straight here. Never claimed to be good with uh, double uh, pivot trailers, so. Takes fuel, we'll just leave it right here for now. Uh, I think I might be a little too close, but we'll see. Oh, we're good. All right. So I think we just have to have it like that. And then let's see. We can turn it on, and I believe we can detach from it. Find out what we need here. Metal beams take uh, 150 fuel and 1500 fuel to craft. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to bring stuff, but that's even better. I thought it was gonna make me actually have to bring over uh, parts, right? Because that's what the other ones do. Let's leave it like that. So that basically means I can, uh, you know what? That's awesome. So I'm gonna leave that fuel tank over there because we'll probably have to refuel the generator over time. So that's probably not a bad thing that I brought that over here. This is a modded truck too, just like the, uh, the Typhoon. Not like the Dairy Horn, though. The Dairy Horn is not a modded truck, so. So what we'll put on this is this one, the sideboard. So it's almost as long, but it'll at least let us get two.
so let's uh, load up two. So first we're going to put that in a trailer. Then we're going to put one in here. And that's pretty much all I can take. So we'll have to make another trip. Careful, I don't wanna don't wanna flip anything. Right. Doesn't turn very good. This, uh, this particular truck. You see how it, it's got quad turning capability, but it doesn't make any kind of sharp turns at all. I'm gonna take part of the forest down, avoid having to do all that extra backup work. So here we are, ready to drop off the first load of uh, beans. All right, off to the next set. So as you can tell, I'm back in the black truck. The uh, the other truck just did not get through some of those areas very well, and, and I found it to be adequately slow. So um, I opted to just switch uh, back to this one. We're gonna load the back one, load the front one, and these are the last two. I'm just gonna carefully back up. Try not to lose that trailer in the process. Do the same thing we did on the last one. We're going to make our own road over here. And there we are. We'll see you at the bridge. All right. We have arrived. Stop. Stop. There we go. So we need two concrete slabs, and as I said before, the uh, the railway down here has concrete slabs, so we just need to make our way down here. So from where we're at, this is pretty thick mud right here, so I don't think I want to do that. But uh, we can go down. Maybe I can sneak down through here. Maybe I can take the... Well, taking the railroad tracks over might be a, a problem because it looks like there's some down cargo right there. Um, if I turn back and go the other way, instead of turning left at the fuel station, I can go straight. There's a little bit of a water thing right here, but uh, nothing that I think uh, nothing we can't handle. 
So I think I'm just going to turn around and uh, we'll uh, I'll make it back to this uh, intersection. All right, we are back at the intersection. Uh, I I'm going to get gas first because I'm a little low on gas. So let's uh, take care of the gas stuff here. to the slabs. these take up two slots uh, so we need the trailer that's why I still have it all right nope we don't need blocks we need slabs as you can see they are two slaughter so we'll put the one in the back one in the front and uh, time to Turn around and uh, head back to the the bridge. Coming up on uh, the drop off point here. And uh, we're about to finish off the bridge. There we are. All of our bridges are complete. And uh, so what is next? So what I want to do, there we go. Uh, what are we going to do now for the second half of this episode is we have upgrades. Uh, we have two upgrades down here that I'm going to see if I can get to these in the uh, scout truck. And we have one that's like right up by the garage. So we're going to at least try to see if we can get these visible upgrades complete. So there's one here. There's one over here. And then there's one up there. So three. Three upgrades uh, on the map. So uh, see you back at the garage.
All right, so as you can see, uh, I went for an upgrade, and that's what we're going to do now for uh, the second half of the deal here. <laughs> I actually made the same monologue, uh, but you guys didn't hear it because I was on mute. So uh, now that I'm not on mute, we're going to go to the small wooden bridge from last week, and uh, we're going to plot out the other two um, upgrades. So uh, that's where I'm headed right now. All right, so here's the wooden bridge. So uh, let's sort of uh, kind of plan out where, where we're gonna go here. So the closest one is right here, directly sort of in front of us. So, and it's really close to this road. So I'm gonna just kind of turn this a little bit. Uh, I think we can just take this valley uh, trip right up to the road. And then from the road... Looks like the best approach is from here. So, if we sort of go like that... So we'll just kind of go like that. And I'm using my right mouse button to, to add these extra placeholders in as we kind of plot it back. It's like that. So let's uh, let's follow the uh, the points and see how it goes. here and not hit those trees there we go look at that fine tuned very nice what trucks oh wow that's a lot of trucks the bandit longhorn those are the wall ones that I have and then these are all of the other trucks in the lineup so Basically, it, it adds fine-tune for everything. And if you don't know what fine-tune is, it adds these extra up-and-down uh, tuning for your low speed. Which is awesome. Alright, so now we have to plot out the next one. So the next one... as I turn this back around is uh, over here so what we'll need to do now is continue going till we get back to the to the uh, road here we'll at least get to there we're probably gonna have to there's a small teeny bridge right here so if we can get to that I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can see better. But it looks like we might be able to just sort of go right like that. So, yeah, let's try it. get from this upgrade engageable all-wheel drive awesome what uh, trucks do we get the Paystar 5600 now we haven't found that one yet I think that's one you have to look for I think that's one you can just buy right off the bat awesome All right, uh, that's going to wrap it up for uh, this episode. 
if uh, if you like uh, everything uh, we did here today uh, don't forget to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more snow runner content uh, we have season four coming up uh, in about another week or two uh, so look out for uh, other uh, series of snow runner as I will be uh, doing two other ones so uh, more snow runner more off-roading and with that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next mud pit <laughs>